Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in a fabulous Las Vegas, fulfilling an explication request. The best uh, free uh, supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you don't have a Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it. With my Guru 10 discount code, you can get a QBank for about $58, I think 10 cents, something like that. For that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on Kaplan content. You know, the three styles of questions you get on your Series 7 are recognition. This isn't recognition. You know, when they were things settled, T plus 2 or T plus 1. Uh, recognition. Practical application, you know, can you calculate parity? And the hardest ones you get a judgment. This is a judgment question. So what I recommend you do on questions like this is just go ahead and make up your own position to look at to see, you know, what this looks like. So here is a short call. We sell one Apple, December 175, call it eight. And uh, here is a credit, whoop, here is a credit call spread. Boom. And that's what they're asking me. They're asking me about all the following are true except, right? So where's one of these things that's not like the other. Well, the number one right out of the gate, the maximum loss is limited. No, that's the whole point of doing a credit call spread, right? I mean, if you do the naked call at eight, your maximum loss is unlimited. But if you do the credit call spread for six, right? I take part of my eight and I buy that higher strike uh, call, that 185. I put in a ceiling. I uh, make six instead of eight, but I only lose four. So that's the whole point of a spread, particularly a credit spread, I should say, is you're playing between the strikes here. You know, there's a floor at 175 and on the naked call there is no ceiling but in this one there now is right so you can be a dumb bear or you can be a smart bear so a is not true the credit call spread does not expose you to unlimited risk the credit call spread exposes you to the difference in the strikes and the example i have there 10 less the six four make six lose four naked call make eight potentially lose everything the maximum gain is limited. Yes, when you collect money, right? Whether you're short a call or short a spread. When you sell a call or you sell a spread, the max gain is the premium. So both of these have limited gain. 800 on the naked call, 600 on the credit call spread. Both positions are bearish. That too is true. The larger premium dominates. And here it's a lower strike call. The lower strike call will always be the dominant leg in a spread. And this is a uh, credit call spread, which is indeed bearish. Uh, both positions generate premium income. Yeah, and one bear does it smarter than the other. <laughs> one generates 800, one generates uh, 600. So as I always say, my mantra in all my content is don't be a dumb bear, uh, be a smart bear. Credit call spread is a lot smarter than a naked call. Hope you found that helpful. Remember, inch by inch. Your series of is ascents, yard by yard. Your series of is hard. And I will see you for the next explication request. Uh, before I say goodbye, just make sure you realize the answer is A. In fact, I probably should just box that so somebody's watching. What was the answer? The answer is A. All right. Bye-bye.